uh, as the beginning point of Aries, whereas astronomers were very aware that the sun falls back one yes. degree every 72 exactly. years. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So now the sun actually is 20, in, in 2013, the sun has fallen 25 degrees back from, exactly. from yeah. Aries. And yeah. so the sun on the first day of spring now is at five degrees Pisces. Yeah. So uh, this is what Cyril Fagan discovered in, in Robert Powell. And then basically also came across this idea from Cyril Fagan and and did his PhD thesis on the zodiac, wrote a wonderful treatise mm -hmm. on the zodiac, mm -hmm. trying to elaborate. By the way, the uh, it, uh, that is uh, available on the internet, if I'm not mistaken. It probably is. Yeah, so Robert has many wonderful. presentations on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So there is a tremendous difference. But every but all the Western books of astrology that I was studying in the 60s, 70s, yeah. and 80s were based on the tradition of the tropical zodiac. Exactly. Yeah. And, Do you, are um, you aware at all of the work of Paul Platt? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. I knew uh -huh. Paul very well, and uh, Paul had his own version. His Paul had a very Paul Platt was a remarkable human being who said that he could he could sense when the moon moved from one constellation to the next. He could actually feel it. Yes, he yes. Had, he was, his sensitivities were very very keen and. So he, he came up with the idea of an unequal zodiac that was not connected either directly with the sidereal or with the tropical. Mm -hmm. Paul came up with his own particular yeah. uh, understanding and wrote several books about it as well, The Qualities of Time. Yes, yes. Wonderful, wonderful Also researcher. available on the internet. Are they? Yes, I It's amazing, yeah. absolutely amazing. Wonderful. So, but there is, a, there is this difference. And interestingly enough, the Vedic astrology came, came out of Alexandria and, and more or less preserves the history of the, of the sidereal zodiac. So it's, it's so interesting that astrologers are turning, Western astrologers are looking with kind of, you know, jealous and eyes toward East. Vedic astrology because Vedic astrology is based in the, in the astronomical, closer to an astronomical zodiac and it's really developed to a very high art. And I think to some degree Western astrology, as, as wonderful as it is, uh, is deepened when one turns to the sidereal zodiac and exactly. tries to reinfuse it. Yeah. So that's what I. Yeah, been. that's what I find too. Yeah. You know, now um, getting back to the mm -hmm. present, yeah. maybe you can tell me a little bit about uh, where the college is headed. Well, Rito Center College is working toward. We have. Uh, uh, Rito Center College has really t strengthened its work in in training Waldorf teachers, preparing teachers for Waldorf schools. In addition to that, though, we see ourselves as a kind of place where the ancient mysteries is an ancient mystery school that can be renewed in modern times. Mm -hmm. Waldorf education is, is the most, uh, is the strongest programs that we run in terms yes. of numbers and yes, diversity. Yes. And it's because Waldorf education is one of the most successful initiatives that came out of Rudolf Steiner's work. Exactly. Uh, that Besides the agriculture. I the agriculture say. is very strong. Biodynamics yeah, is very, yeah, very important. Very good. But those, and those two programs, I mean, our biodynamic programs and the Waldorf teacher training programs, are the most popular and the most, uh, we're, we're known most strongly for those uh, programs. But in addition to that, Dennis Klosek, of course, has for many years been doing his work with Goethe and consciousness studies. and. I've also been giving workshops and trying to bring star work and, and right, various yeah, other yeah. Uh, sacred architecture and so forth in. But Rita Center College is not, our, we're not just a one, a one string college, we don't just train teachers, yeah. but rather we, are, we see ourselves as a center where all the work of Rita Steiner can come to blossom. Yeah. And uh, we offer programs in, in the very diverse fields of, of study, including the training of teachers, mm -hmm. which is, mm -hmm. and we feel that our our Waldorf education programs are very strong, mm -hmm. and we mm -hmm. have uh, we, we're, we're, also, we're starting online programs as well as working in San Francisco and Southern California with extension courses and our summer teacher training and our residential programs have continued to be a, mm -hmm. a very strong part of the life of Rudolf Steiner College. Mm -hmm. What we see really is that there's a need for uh, as Waldorf as Waldorf education becomes more recognized by mainstream yes. education. It has been increasingly yeah, for the last 30 years. Of course, there are lots years. of charter schools and... Yes. yes. And, and basically, public school teachers recognize, and public people in the world recognize, there's something different about a child oh, who's yes. going to a Waldorf school. Oh, and, yes. and the graduates of Waldorf schools yes. are, are well-received, are, they're artistic, they're yeah. socially adept, they're talented, they're creative, <coughs> they're, they're c capable of doing many things. And yeah. People say, you're doing something right. What is it that you're doing? You know? mm -hmm. So Waldorf education is a, is a very, very successful uh, way of honoring the body, soul, and spirit of the child and helping the human beings 
come into a proper incarnation. And, 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 and find their destiny. And find their destiny, that's right. And find their colleagues and find their ways of working and really become creative individuals. Yeah. So, uh, so what of teacher training is something that we are, are, <coughs> are offering to the world and, and we're realizing that we need also to get uh, to be able to give uh, credentialed degrees. We've been giving degrees for a number of, of years. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had a master's program for a number of years and we've received, you know, we, this, our, our degrees have been recognized by the state of California. But we realized that we also, in order to be able to sit at the table with other educators, we need a, mm -hmm. a national accreditation. Yeah. So we've been striving for the last five or six years now to try to become <clears throat> fully accredited by WASC, by the Western Association mm -hmm. of Schools and Colleges. Mm -hmm. And we are now at the stage of candidacy and we're working, we have, we hope within the next year or two to complete the the, the track, which is a very steep, steep, it's a steep climb. Yeah, and, and <clears throat> it takes a lot of time and effort and money, it I does. would imagine. It's, it's been a huge investment of time, money, and and, and sweat and, and love mm -hmm. to make it happen. But we feel as though um, if we can if we can achieve that for the college, um, that it will somehow it will it will strengthen the the work of the college. It will strengthen the work of the graduates of the college, and it will give all of education a credentialed. Yes. legitimate face to interface with other exactly public school on a national level and on national and international yeah. level yeah. so water of education of course is successful all over the world but there are very few places that actually offer credentialed degrees exactly in, in water of education so that's what we're striving to achieve and uh, we're, we're working very hard toward that goal so uh, that will be one of the things that we're working toward but in addition to that uh, many of us see the college as a place where we're, we're looking for what are the interests of the people who are coming and how mm -hmm. can we offer, how can mm -hmm. we provide a place. One of the things I've always experienced, and Renee was particularly adept at this, that Rhode Standard College is not limited to, to Wall of Education, but rather the talents of the people who are interested in the interests of the people should find a place to, to flourish. Mm -hmm. And so Rhode Standard's work is incredibly rich and incredibly diverse. It's not limited by any degree to exactly, anything. Exactly, exactly. And so we we really offer studies that will awaken. I, I tell people, come and do the foundation program, not necessarily because you want to become a teacher, but because you, you want to become a human being. And exactly. You want to yeah, find you out. need to know the basics. <laughs> Absolutely. So, because really, and what we do is we offer in the foundation program, we offer the study of Rhoda Steiner's work, the evolution of consciousness, cosmology, we offer art history, uh, there are classes in music and painting and sculpture, Mm -hmm. and speech and drama and uh, and <clears throat> it's and it's an incredibly rich experience to to really immerse yes. yourself yes. in study and artistic activity and conversation and practical skill yeah. skill building so it really is a life-changing experience to do a foundation year exactly and uh, I've been the director of the uh, since Renee Credo left in 1991 I've been more I've been one of the people carrying responsibility for the program mm -hmm. since way before that. But I, on and off, have been the director of the foundation program for many years. And uh, so I try to make it as diverse and rich as possible, possible. to meet the needs yes. and to stimulate whatever, <clears throat> whatever the interests are of the people who are coming. So we see that as one venue. And of course, Dennis Kozak with his work of consciousness studies uh, and the there are many, many different streams that, mm -hmm. that, that all can find their home. And, mm -hmm. and so an individual who's interested in virtually anything coming to Rhode Center College, they will find roots and, yeah. and blossoms that, are, that, that they can develop. So Rhode Center never felt that his work was finished. He said, these are just the briefest indications. Just, that's right. It's just the start of it. Just the start. So yeah. this is just to get you going. And there so, we go. and, and, there uh, we are. And, and, but boy, just to get you going, 6,000 lectures, 50 books, you know, <laughs> just to get you going, man, oh man. And they're all on the internet. They are, many of them. The archives, yes, and uh, right. uh, Dale archives. Brunswold uh, reads yes, uh, the, right. all the audio lectures. Unfortunately, they're not all translated into English yet, of but course, we're, we're, of course. they're working on that. Yeah, and so, yeah. uh, but every, every lecture, I, I open up a lecture in, by Rudolf Steiner and say, well, he, he couldn't possibly say anything new. And of course, as soon as you read it, you realize, oh my goodness, yeah. this, is, this is amazing. So the Rhoda Center is always fresh with his insights and, and very creative and, and not dogmatic at all, but, but really excited about sharing with his brothers and sisters, this is the reality of the spiritual world and That's how right. it works in relationship to the human soul and the body. Yeah. This is practical knowledge. We need this to become a full human yeah. being. 
I always, I always find that uh, just reading yes. Rudolf Steiner uh, gives you a, a clarity of thinking that's unbelievable. It truly so. does, yeah. Rudolf Steiner is, is the master of thinking in, oh, every, sure. in every sense oh, sure. of the word. So, Brian Gray, hmm. I really thank you for taking the time this morning on this April the 4th hmm. of 2013 hmm. to maybe talk to the world a little bit yes. and uh, so that people can find out what's happening at Rudolf Steiner College. Good. Thank you, Marianne. Very, very nice yeah. to work with you. All right. Thank, thank you. you.